What is your name? Nina Bellen Robbins. Were your rights read to you? Check. Do you know you can change your mind? Check. Do you know it won't be held against you? Check. What day were you born? 6984. What day is today? 6916. If your signature doesn't match your name, they will refuse you. Say we forced you. They're picky like that. A woman's body is only her own if her name is spelled right. It's permanent and you've been counseled. Check. I can't believe you're doing this on your birthday. Check. You're over 18. Check. You'll never be pregnant. Check. You can change your mind. Check. The notary is coming, signing that we didn't tie you to a chair. You weren't held here against your will. I've been kept from this office against my will. A woman's body is public property unless a notary signs off on it. What a birthday present. No kids. I won't keep you long. Check. Sorry for the wait. It's been 32 years. Keep your phone around. They'll call you. Counsel. Try to change my mind. 30 days to change my mind. Push hard on the pen so the carbon paper works. Shows through. Your, de your decision etched on yellow paper. A woman's body is only her own if the carbon paper works properly. Don't tell anyone. No one will support you. A woman's body isn't her own unless everyone supports her. 30 days. No fallopian tubes. A 32-year prison sentence. Finally done. It was, it was traumatic. It was... I almost didn't do it. I almost didn't do it. And Just because of the process. Because the public. Imagine having to, to threaten to murder your kids to get them to take you seriously. Like, and, and if he had asked her to sex me, then I would have done it. Well, yeah, sure. I believe a man who doesn't want kids. I just don't believe a woman who doesn't want kids. Anyway. Sorry. Rant over. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sore subject. Which is why I wrote the book. <laughs> I'm hoping it'll ease it a little. Okay. So, um... In 2013, I lost a whole bunch of weight, and I started slamming, and I found my happiness, and I was like, I should buy a television, because I might get a boyfriend. And um, I bought a television, and I, could, I only had the free channels. And um, there's this show on Channel Create um, that it's America's Test Kitchen, and they advertise products. And it's like, you know, the best potato masher, or the best blender, and they had the best pepper mill. And the best pepper mill, apparently, according to the show on PBS, is the nine inch unicorn magnum pepper mill. And it's like, how do you not write a poem? <laughs> <laughs> and, and I emailed it to the guy. I emailed it to the inventor. We found him and, uh -huh. and did the contact us form. And he's like, I got the whole way through making it before I realized it sounded phallic. <laughs> and I, was like, I love, I just, every, everything I do, I end on this poem. Dear nine inch unicorn magnum pepper mill, you are the grind I never knew I wanted. Entice me with your thick, long, high-capacity cylindrical opening. I never knew I needed so much space for grinding. And I grind. Mix you with my exotic pink Himalayan sea salt. Twist your extra-large steel mechanism with a bottom thumbscrew until I'm satisfied with your ejection. You know what hungry women want. Something to grip onto while we salivate. I want to toss my salad with you. <laughs> my eggs are waiting. Go huge or leave the party. You take up all my fingers, fill my grip. I want to grind you on my clam. Screw your gears in the morning, rub your smooth at night. I want to fill you with batteries and pepper. I want to taste what you can spew. I saw you advertised on TV as I sat alone with a bowl of naked, unseasoned snacks. The only companion I have late at night when there's no one around. I always thought unicorns were mythical. Never knew the smooth horns were sold at William and Sonoma, hidden among your cheaper imitations. $45 for a pepper mill. $45 for seeds in my mouth. I keep you on the shelf. You blend into the corner. They don't see you. When I'm lonely and somber, eating breakfast by myself, my apartment silent, without passion. I sweat you in my robe. I grind you and twist you. My hands never empty. You spew on my command. You stop when I'm finished. And satisfied with spice, your expulsion lingering on my tongue, sharp pleasure vibrating through this body, filling the empty void, my passionate nine-inch pepper mill, unicorn magnum, big, strong, long, just keep going, never stop. On Amazon, I promise, I'll give you five stars. <laughs> <laughs> Did, uh, did you actually buy it? We own it, yes, yeah. and the salt <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, and you